This Chicago Bulls phenom we're going to break down is shocking the NBA universe. An opponent's top priority is shutting down Debo's Jordan-esque bucket getting. Another goal for Chi-Town's adversaries is slowing down Levine and Vucevic. Lonzo and Caruso, when healthy, even a proficient shot creator like Kobe White, are all options taken more seriously than the rookie sensation Ayo Dosumu. Still, the 22-year-old has saved the Bulls all 21-22, making timely three-pointers, setting up his teammates with veteran S facilitating, while displaying fundamentally sound defensive chops on the other end. Later on in this video, we're going to enter the film room with this stunningly impactful first-year man out of Illinois who's setting NBA records, and stay tuned to find out some of Chicago's other unsung heroes. Right quick, only 12.6% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe, also leave a thumbs up, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at dflowhoops and I'll follow you back. Links in the description for those two platforms. Given the recent flurry of injuries, specifically to backcourt players, the exceptional production from Chi-Town's first-year combo guard Ayo Dosumu has been timely. The Bulls are still going to be without two pivotal floor generals in Alex Caruso and Lonzo Ball for at least the next six to eight weeks. Lonzo just had successful surgery on his knee, which was diagnosed as a combination of a bone bruise and meniscus injury. Caruso already got a procedure done on his fractured wrist. Stepping up without those two vital defensive players through 16 January games, Dosumu's averaged around 10 points, four rebounds, four assists, and one steal, on shooting splits of 53, 44, and 75. Rewarded for that brilliant month, Ayo cracked the top 10 in Kia's official NBA rookie ladder, ranking at number 8, just behind Indiana's Chris Duarte, but if Ayo continues his second half run, look for him to quickly move up on that list. Now an essential piece for the Eastern Conference's second seed, the 6'4", 200-pounder was brought off the bench throughout the first half of 2021-22, but with injuries to not only Caruso and Zoe, but also Levine, he's been tasked with shouldering more playmaking responsibility. A film room breakdown on Io is coming up, but with how he's shown out, the former fighting Illini has to be considered one of the top candidates to be selected for one of 2022's all-rookie teams. Now for how he broke some history. In a two-point loss to the Celtics on January 15th, Dosumu stuffed the box score with 21 points and 10 assists, both season and career highs at that point. He shot 9 for 10, including 3 for 3 from three-point range, and added four rebounds for good measure. It was the first time in NBA history that a rookie has tallied 20 points and 10 dimes in a game while shooting 90%. Starting in that outing alongside Kobe White with Lonzo Ball and Zach Levine sidelined with knee injuries, he also took on the challenge of guarding Celtics star Jason Tatum. While Tatum scored 23, he shot just 8 for 24. That was in large part because multiple times Dosumu played strong defense on him, even in isolations. He contested shots consistently, frequently fighting over screens. The rookies got accustomed to guarding the opposing team's best player night in, night out. Post-game in Beantown, Io's veteran-esque mentality was exemplified, with him saying this to reporters about his matchup with Tatum and how he's been thrown into the fire this season. It's a what-have-you-done-for-me-lately league and there are so many games that you can't get too high or too low. That was my challenge Friday night. I had a tough night. Didn't play to my standards, but I knew we had another chance to get better, so I wanted to establish that mentality. You have to grow up fast. From the beginning of the year, we've been having guys out with either nagging injuries or COVID. Our whole team hasn't been there, so I'm forced to be there, and a compliment I can get is coach asking me to guard their best player. I try to compete, play how I know how to play, end quote. Entering the film room, where Io further displays his veteran-esque poise with fundamentally sound actions on both ends of the court, straight through minute 1 to 48. Working off the pick and roll on this possession, while the majority of first-year players would look to pop it almost directly after getting this first screen from Vooch, Io's handle is polished enough and he's also built up the continuity with Vucevic to the point where both he himself and his center are well aware that a double screen is going to be required. After getting the first screen, Io hits his matchup with a crossover hesitation, which catches DeJounte Murray reaching, and then he's pinned by Vooch. This gives Io every bit of space he needs for a wide open pull up in the mid range, a double screening action executed to perfection. Pull up jumpers in general, whether he's created them for himself or caught it on the wing to help space it out for the Bulls' all stars, have looked very fluid. 
before even catching this pass from Levine, key in on this beautiful footwork from Ayo, shuffling into his motion, which gives him momentum once he catches it, proceeding to rise up for a Kawhi-esque one-dribble mid-ranger with two defenders in his vicinity. You saw him get a double screen earlier, but on this possession, without Vucevic even making contact to Ayo's defender, Ayo's shiftiness and discipline off the bounce are too much for two OKC defenders. For a rookie to have that kind of natural shot creating ability with that offensive pick and roll navigation is unbelievable. Just think about how seamless that action is going to look once Ayo gets a few NBA summer grinds under his belt and has two or three seasons of experiencing defensive game plans in the NBA. If he stays on track, you could see this man average 20 plus points one day. On the other side, talk about his hands and solid 6 foot 8 wingspan for a shooting guard all you want. What stands out to me most are Dosumu's defensive instincts, specifically when reading the passing lane. As Uncle Jeff Green tries to on this possession, you're rarely going to pin down Io in the post in order to receive a clear pass. Bold floater passes like this one from Aaron Gordon can be easily scoped out by Dosumu with his constant awareness and unteachable timing of when to elevate for steals at the perfect time. Try to cut back door on him, and Io's lightning quick hands, plus pristine attention to detail, will be there to seamlessly snatch it away. Attempt to beat him to the punch with a cross-court bounce pass in transition, and you'll get the same result. An example of the rookie's stick to and all-out hustle is exemplified on this play, where Io is sitting wide open in the corner, Vucevic turns it over, and while Shea gets a nice burst up the floor, Levine seems to have a pretty good handle on stopping SGA in transition. 95% of NBA players, 99.9% .9 of rookies would have been frustrated they didn't get a pass to the corner and or would have assumed Levine could have kept up with Shea, not Io. Kid busts his ass back using his long strides before rising up with his 6 foot 8 reach and 39 inch vertical jump to shock OKC star with a massive rejection. We saw Nicola set a double screen for Io, but watch what happens a game later when the opposing Yusuf Nurkic tries to do the same thing to Dosumu himself. The rookie remains unfazed despite Yusuf trying to body him several times, gluing himself to a breakout player this year in Anthony Simons before stripping him clean before he can even get to his point of attack. Against Portland on Sunday night, Io dropped a career-high 11 assists. Also this month, the up-and-coming Bulls phenom broke his career-high in scoring in three different outings. He scored at least 15 points five times, while also breaking his career-high in steals with four snatches and a loss to the Memphis Grizzlies. I've got a question for you about Io in a minute, but we can't gloss over two impact players who failed to get the respect they deserve. I'm referring to the two-way beast Javante Green, as well as the extra sharpshooting prowess that Mr. 99% Matt Thomas provides. Firstly, Green's become the Bulls' most versatile and engaged wing-slash-forward defender. Since he and Levine's return from injury, Chicago's gone 3-1, with the former Boston Celtic and Javante averaging 10 points on 65% shooting to go along with a block and a steal in 24 minutes per game. Matt Thomas used to play for my favorite team in the Toronto Raptors, and while he's a garbage time player for the Elite Bulls, contenders could always use the added floor spacing and distance marksmanship provided by the 27-year-old undrafted product out of Iowa State. Matt made four of his eight attempts from the field and had nine points in Chicago's most recent win against Rip City. But who's your player comparison for Ayo Dosumu? Best answer in the comments section down below earns next video shout out. Top 5 commenters with the most shout outs by March 21st receive NBA merchandise of their choosing this spring. So leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's Speaks winner is Irvin Alexar Guerra, who says, Wiggins being an all-star was the thing I expected because of the number of injuries the usual West Front Court all-stars have, and now Wiggins has developed into an efficient number two score on one of the best teams in the NBA. Pause to read the rest of Irvin's take. I hope you have a great one. Deep Flow signing off.